All right. Let's read the next birthday letter. Clee loves summer. Summer has a very hot sun and long, long days. Clee has more time to do the things she loves, and the summer adventure get hotter and more exciting. This summer, Clee went on vacation with mom. Yes, we know again. Star of Golden Apple Archipelago. Fenty said, you know, someone mother and daughter with elf ears. Yeah, they are having fun. Mom took Klee to see super beautiful scenery, and we did a lot of fun things together. Ta-da! Klee knew you'd be curious, so I drew them all with my brush. Klee will tell you their stories the next time we see each other. Is that the next event? I would love to see that. Oh, oh, Mom said that summer is the season of share joy and let your heart fly free. She also gave Klee booklet. B- booklet? And booklet that Klee cannot read. What is booklet? <laughs> Here you go. Klee hope you like summer as much as Klee does. As much as Klee does? I love summer and Klee. Last summer or the first Golden Apple Archipelago, Klee as us if, you know, we love her. Yeah, I love her so much. Also, God of Freedom. That is the booklet. <laughs> booklet. <laughs> Wait. That is booklet, not booklet. Okay, that's book. That's cool, that's cool. I want to see the drawing as well. Man, that's so annoying. Also, uh, Clay and Cookie Shinobu is birthday at the same time, so got time. Thanks to those idiots from the Arataki gang, I spent yet another unexpected birthday and just finished and just finished taking care of the trouble they caused. It's been so long, but they still haven't learned anything. Never mind. Let's just say this is why I cannot just abandon them. Alright, do you have time now? Want to go for a walk together? Just, you know, the two of us. I still remember all the help you gave me. I'll be... I'd like to thank you in person to show my sincere gratitude. Also, I've discovered a few special uses of Naku Win in my spare time. And I'd like to show them to you too. Thank you for the 10 Naku Win. Wow, Klee gave me 1 this and 1 this. You give me 10 this and 1 this. Hey, so give me 10. Oh. So if that is their first birthday, I guess you got a lot of stuff. But yeah, Omu Rice. That actually doesn't look like Omu Rice. At least not the normal one. Okay, okay, let's jump to the webpage of Ven now. What up? Mesmerizing. Alright, alright. <laughs> Wait, what am I saying? Last time we already read Kazuo and also Ponais. Now we are going to read Xinyan and Fisherlist. Thingy about Maji. So let's see what is theirs. There you go. A platter of crabs made by Xinyan. The flavor of the food has been sealed in as much as possible. It's just like Xinyan to be able to maintain the classic Liyue flavor without adding seasonings. Paimon probably also want to try Xinyan's food. Pro- probably? Okay. How finished ingredients from Oz, a fish that is slightly charred. Thanks to the electro element, the skin is crispy and is ready to serve once it is. Sprinkle with some seasoning according to Oz's official scent for him to catch it, which must have been a lot of work. Give your piece to Paimon, hey! Don't eat them all! Uh, Paimon, I won't eat them all if you'll be nice to me. Either way, let's jump straight into the last two island, which is Fisherless Island and also... What is... Oh, last one is more nice. Paimon feels dizzy. Uh, that... Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Paimon, you look pale. Paimon is too tired after last night's stream. Paimon can recall what happened in that dream. The only thing Paimon remembers is that Paimon hunted the treasure chest down to Twining Owls. Twining Owls? The island effect by officially dream, right the castle. The Dendro Archon helped us design this, or helped the machine design this for us. Then Paimon lost track of it after making a turn. Then there was a strange building. It looked like something that Fischl is very passionate about. There was also a crucial culture in Imna Christ. What could it be? Theater castle? He of the Holy Land! <laughs> okay, I think it's a castle. No, it's a him? Okay, Paimon doesn't think so. Let Paimon think about it. 
Okay, him of him not cry. Oh, that's the theater. I forgot. I am so sorry. I forgot it's the theater. Was it theater? Oh yes, that moment frame of Twilight Theater, the one we visit on Twining Owls. That's kind of troublesome. Pain in the buttons to search for. Mama is not expecting to be you to be so familiar with everyone's preference. Does Rizzy remember what Paimon's likes? Uh, Paimon's very fond of delicious food, treasure, and uh, what else? So is this supposed to be me guessing or <coughs> apart from Twilight Theater? Was there anything else about Paimon's dream of? Paimon remember dreaming of something quite amazing. It asks strange questions all the time. Ah, uh, it's Princess's nemesis, Night Raven statue. Now Pamela remember, it was the statue. Pamela remember that Twenty Owls was a rare all see several night Raven statue gathered around. Yeah, I forgot. I don't know what is the purple one. I think the purple one just like narrator or question, but. Red always lie, and also blue always tell the truth. I entirely forgot that when I'm doing the puzzle, and that messed me up. Whenever Paimon sees them, she starts to stress out. I didn't realize that Paimon is a particularly good at brain exercise. <laughs> Wait, you should have realized that. You should have known. Paimon has tried her best helping you solve puzzles during our adventure together. Uh, yeah, right. Not to mention this time, in order to find out where the treasure chest went, Paimon took the challenge like a champ. Paimon dreamed of about like five night statue, and they gathered around someone laying on the floor. The servant someone must connected to the Night Raven puzzle. But also, can you remember it's nothing but a mere silhouette? How did you know that? It's almost as if Rixin can read Paimon's mind. No, you're flying. Here's what its shape look like. What could it be? I... Baron Bunny? <laughs> there is Baron Bunny. Uh, 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 nope. Why would Baron Bunny be at the Golden Apple Archipelago? Why? I don't know. Uh, I, I just say just having fun, okay? Paimon! Abyss Mage. Paimon! Was it you again? Were you the one that's like there? Oh my. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> can actually. Rixin can actually read Paimon's mind. You help Paimon recall exactly what goes on every time. And this one, I don't think I guess it. But really, Paimon can never take an easy round of Night Raven statues. Whenever Paimon has to deal with their puzzle, it's like triggering the overall reaction of Paimon. Overworld? It's not overload. And Paimon just passed out. Do you mean overload? Yep, I just say that. Yep, that's the one. Being mentally crushed. <laughs> mentally. Paimon is completely exhausted. Paimon has really recovered even after waking up. No wonder he mentioned being dizzy this morning. I guess thinking hard is just not something Paimon, Paimon thinks. Nevertheless, Paimon eventually made it. Turned out that Chess was hiding behind the curtains all along. But Paimon had already fainted, so it got away again. Oh, we continue the story for Paimon. Nice! Okay, this time there's no Primo Jam. Now we're done with that island, let's go to the last island. I don't have any of the inspiration. Now I believe we have enough point for this, right? We should have enough point for this. So yeah, let's go to the last island, which is I'm pretty sure it's Moon Eyes Island. Somehow I actually miss a day. I don't know. Or somehow I don't have enough point to go through this. But now we have Last Island, Moon Eyes Island. Let's go. Alrighty. Okay, now let's see what happened. You're here, yes. I am here in your last dream. I'm almost in high spirit, I see. You're not wrong. Guess what? Last night, Paimon finally caught up with that chest in her dreams. That is good for you. So, what was in it? Uh, Pi Paimon forgot. Yeah, I cannot say I'm surprised, I guess. Paimon remember going to Minasius Isle. Isles. In 
Celsius. I was going after the chance but somehow lost it. I must search high and low and end up on a cliff. Suddenly, a big round thingy showed up. It even glowed and was really noticeable against the night sky. The night sky again. It had go. Wait, what? It had got a lot to do with a very familiar friend of ours. What was it? Uh, moon. <laughs> Square glass. Yes, it was just that. Okay, the scry glass, yes. Famine dream of a huge scry glass by the cliff with strange image on it. Oh, that one is actually on the Mona Island. Yeah, that symbol there or the stars there. Okay, Mama wonders how Mona can read all those complicated scripts. Is it even readable? There was something on the ground right below the sky glass. Scry glass? Yeah. Connect with the image of sky glass. What could it be? Mona is wallet! <laughs> Um, star guide. Yep. Yes, that was it. The puzzle. Oh, that's called star guide. Okay. It took Papa quite a while to make it resemble the image on the sky glass. The moment Papa finished, poof, the chest appeared. Then Papa opened it up. Uh huh. That was it. Yeah, that sounds so easy. Unexpected even. I remember finding something in the chest. You said you could remember. It was shaped like this. What was it? <laughs> um, a stone! An ingredient that was once considered an ornament plant, currency of the vet, a secret, secret recipe taste but tested leasing delicious delicacy. Look at light, I believe that's the thing. Nope, it's not it. What's that? Papa never heard of it. Well, it's your dream. What will you make it for Paimon? I probably not the right answer. Pro probably not supposed to answer that. Now, the correct answer is an ingredient that was once considered an ornamental plant. What is that supposed to mean? A cabbage. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes, it was cabbage. Ornamental plant once. Paimon was so disappointed. But Paimon, don't you love food? No, you'll be happy. But that's not how it works. According to Paimon's experience, treasure chests that are super difficult to get should have better reward. Right? No. <laughs> uh, not all chests difficult to get mean have something good in it. Now that Paimon think about it, it was indeed very suspicion that this chest could not only run around, but also fly everywhere. Why? Because they have cabbage. So with that being said, uh, you guys should keep eating a cabbage. Of course, it was a cursed chest! Oh, oh, that orb influenced by a certain leader of an adventure team in Monster. Well, guess what? That was the end of Pama's great treasure hunting adventure and Primo Jam. But still, Pama really enjoyed those snack traveler meat. Pama will mind having some every now and then. So that is the end, I see. Okay, interesting. Now that I stare at this, it looks so sad. I was like, oh, I only got cabbage. What happened if I press? <laughs> it's a Paimon with a cabbage, okay. Alright, but with that being said, that is the end. We're going to read a new birthday letter, because again, I record this in different time, so I have enough of this light bulb. That looks cool though, this island. That looks cool. But with that, there you go, the adventure. I love how they actually put everyone in here as well, minus Lumin. Also, I can click this and make them jump. Other than that, I don't think you can click others. Yeah, only this thing. The little Dorokos. But alright, let's, uh, let's read the birthday letter from Yanfei. I guess I'm going to add this on other video as well. But, do you remember what day is it today? That's right, it's my birthday! <laughs> I love it's the day, yay! You're a real busy bee. You're either in the middle of a journey or on your way to the next one. Don't worry, I will secretly raise my price, even if you forget. Yikes. Uh, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Sorry, my brain works so fast that I write whatever comes to my mind. Let's get back to the subject. I found something good on an assignment for a client. I don't mean to sound like I'm boosting. I'm not only called connoisseur of items, but also an expert in gift giving. 
so don't stand on cur courtesy with me. Just accept it. A birthday celebration is a great way to share your happiness with friends. I love how she say day ending soon. Yeah, don't forget to do that ending soon. Probably after this video comes out, it already end. Oh, that's cute. Hey. Well, with that being said, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining. As always, have a nice day. Have a nice night. There you go. The last of mesmerizing. I know I do this a long time or post this on YouTube a long time, but I swear I already completed this a while ago. But as always, subscribe, like the button, turn into my stream, Twitch TV slash Accent, and don't forget to follow me. And I'll see all of you on the next video. Goodbye.